So, today's workout. Here we have chin ups, station one. Um, sorry, I was showering uh, right before I got in here. I'll take my clothes off when I shower. So, we're here. We're going to step up. We're going to place our knee in. All right, how many bands we need for assistance? Also, don't chin up. Palms are facing you. Scratch your chin. All right, as Jamie would say, we'll be here. Palms facing you. You're going to extend all the way down. You're going to pull up over the bar under control and then come down under control. Full extension at the bottom, pull up, squeeze at the top, and then right back down. Try to get full extension at the bottom and then pull your chest or your chin over the bar or pull your chest up. Really drive the elbow. Think about focusing on driving the elbow into the ground uh, more so than just pulling, all right? And um, make sure appropriate not an appropriate amount of bands for yourself. Um, if that doesn't work, you use the TRX as an alternative. Um, and we'll show you that, coach will show you that, um, or someone in class will show you that. Incline press, we're right here. Alternating incline, hold at the top. So we're gonna hold both dumbbells at the top. Shoulders are down and back. You're gonna bring one down, slightly tucked in, press it up, bring the other one down and press it up. So just slightly tucked in, ribs down as we're pressing and working our way through your set. Squeezing at the top, all right? Really focus on squeezing that chest as you are pressing. Um, side plank hip I've got you. So we'll be on the bench. So side plank position, elbow down, leg is extended. And what we're gonna do, hold that side plank, we're gonna squeeze and back down, squeeze and back down. So the first are we in, the easier it'll be, all right? So you can adjust the intensity and bend the knee here. Boom, it's way easier than it is extended um, for that hip abduction. Keeping that hip up. Oh, you're gonna hold it actually. This is a hold for 15 seconds. My apologies, I didn't read that. So you just hold here for 15 seconds. Working those hip adductors, things will get spicy for a little bit there, but you'll be fine. Um, then, We'll go step up, hip thrusters, ipsilateral. So same side. So we're gonna step up onto the box, whatever size box you feel is appropriate for you. Um, so we're gonna step up, same side, press. You're gonna drive one motion, bring it down, drive one motion, knee drives up. So as you're pressing, knee drives up and you come down. So. One motion using the power as opposed to making it two separate motions with the press and the step up. Power up, press through the ceiling for that. Then um, we have our roof of elevated um, dumbbell RDL. So we have a pair of dumbbells. Here, we're on the roof of elevated pad and what we're going to do we're going to hinge at the hips we're going to push our hips back knee is soft hips back slide them right alongside the dumbbell chest tall don't think about reaching dumbbells down to the ankles think about pushing the hips back keeping that chest tall drive down and push through the ground push the ground away with your foot entire foot pushes away pushing the hips back all right so hinging and driving tall you should really feel that glute working a little bit of the hamstring as well. Ab snail, we're here. Feet are on the bow slides, heels. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our hips back between our arms, and then we're gonna drive our hips up, push forward, drive up nice and tall, drive the hips to the ceiling, pull back, and drive up, hands up to the ceiling, and then work your way back in between. Um, Alternatively, we could just do a uh, reverse plank here or here. Either one of those variations are fine or a glute bridge variation with the sandbag on your hips as well. Half squat. So we're here. Let's see, leg's a little bit fried right now. Goes. So we're gonna take landmine. 
we're gonna lean back. So our feet are out in front of us. We're leaning back. So a little awkward position to start, but once you get your feet in front of you, once you go down, you understand why we're getting our feet out in front of us. So we're gonna sit our hips down, feet about shorter width apart. And we're gonna scotch squat straight down. So we're coming down and then driving away. Dropping straight down. Let's see our vertical regular squat position here and then come up. So you see the lean back allows me to get into a proper squat position at the bottom uh, with my feet. So start your feet out in front of you, rack it on the shoulder and then squat down. Um, so once you get a first few, you'll be like, okay, this makes sense, it feels good. Um, kettlebell swing, reset. We're here, kettlebell starts out in front of us. We're gonna swing it back behind the hips. So engage the lats first, we're gonna drive it back. Place it back down on the ground in front of us. So like we're getting ready to hike a football, we're centering football, hike it back, right behind the hips, drive forward, reset, boom. Drive forward, that was a bad one, reset, and then drive it back, reset each time. Farmer's wall, pair, kettlebells, equal size. And so we're telling these are equal size, we're here, up safely, shoulders down and back, ribs down, and just walk your way down to the end, and then come all the way back from the dumbbells to the wall, back to the dumbbells. Two times. It's a lot of walking. Gotta walk fast. And last but not least, ones are lower. We're here. So work your way into the roar amongst your group. So, you know, get in here, get in where you fit in, so to speak. If you find yourself where you're taking a little longer time, do 150 meters. If you get through it fast, you do 200 meters. Um, so, if you just start rowing, it should start. And you can see it's starting there. It tells you the meters at the bottom. If you wanna reset, hit okay, and it should reset, all right? If by chance this is on something other than meters, you can press here, it'll change from watts, oops, the calories, back to meters. So, but hit okay to reset it, and or you just leave it as is and just add whatever how many meters are left on there from the last person. So we're here, we're gonna feet in, lock your feet in, we're gonna hinge forward, come forward, we're gonna pull. So extend your legs first, then you pull, so extend, Pull, slight lean back as you are pulling. Boom. So extend the legs, bring it back in. Big pull. So then, as you're going to really crank up the power here. So press away. Once you get extended here, you're leaning back and then pulling. And then you come back in, press out, lean back, and then pull. All right, now to help you knock out your 150 meters. So that is the workout.